Okay, everyone, so that was a pretty epic fight I'll against the ogre. It and now it's time for us to head on down the road even further, right, towards the capital. I think this is the right way. It is. This is definitely the right way. I think the capital's, like, right there. <clears throat> so we just keep following this road. <clears throat> pretty cool fight against the ogre. Came out of nowhere. Do you think there's any, uh, any chests or anything around here? Maybe? <laughs> as soon as I said that, a chest is right in front of me. Look at that. How convenient. A stoutness extract and a goblin torn. Probably use those extracts during fights, right? Probably, like, especially a boss fight probably makes sense. I need, uh... I need stamina items. I started using time. them, and now I've run out. Say, <clears throat> now we have a new, a new ranger called Vista. Apparently she has a sweet tooth. <laughs> We got another camp. Will serve us well. Oh, hello. Uh, why did you attack in the complete wrong direction? Damn. Brutal executions. Jeez. Water of wolves. All right, it's camp time. Go. Uh -huh. Okay. Rest up. Okay. I have a feeling fortune shall favor us this day. We're supposed to go, go this way down the road. Do? If we I see things to investigate, we will. But I feel like we should just follow along the road for now, see what we find here. Deer. Chilling. Let the deer chill. What the fuck? Why did you kill the deer? Because she got treasure. meat out of it. <sighs> now I feel She's hunting the deer to we get meat, basically. I didn't tell her to do that. Corner. Remember, you can have your companions be free of, free of will. And that's what I, how I have them right now. To do whatever they want. So I guess she's a hunter. Or huntress. Ah, my legs are as lead. Is that what he said? Goblins down there. Are we supposed to cross this? I don't think so, right? No. This this is the capital right here. So this leads to a different area. So we'll probably keep going across uh, down the main road. We don't need to cross here. Uh -huh. now, now the, the Imperial Guard will show up and say, Oh, those were the king's royal deer. And now you're going to jail. Look at this. These are buffalo. Oh, these are cool. They're huge. Giant buffalo. Hello. You're nonviolent. Yeah, they're just nice little nice buffalo. Ooh, stinky. Yes, hello. Just wanted to say hello. Wish you all a good day. For your grazing. Look! Oxen! How tranquil. Oxen, they're not buffalo, it's they're best oxen. To leave harmless creatures be. Harmless oxen. Look, they're all prancing around. They're having a good time. They're prancing about. Hello. Like a pet. Oh, he put his ass right in my face. <laughs> He's like, here, smell this. Get a whiff of this one. Woohoo! Damn. Cypress TV says, I thought your Dragon Quest 11 playthrough was my. Oh, shit! They were hiding. No! The buffalo got killed because these fucking goblin bitches. God damn it. These fucking stupid goblins. Poor Buffalo. It just didn't deserve that. Well. God damn it. Can we at least we harvest something from it? Hat on the back. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. It's glowing. Oh, here we go. We got a scrag of beast. Poor thing. Got in the line of fire. You know, it's not its fault. <laughs> anyway, 
Cyber's TV says he thinks this game has potential to be as good as my Dragon Quest playthrough. I guess we'll see over time. I hope that people will tune in and catch on and, and join me for this. It seems like it's going to be an open world exploration romp, uh, just like the first game. Um, we are none of us alike. In and that that's it's, it's an acquired taste. Yeah, Some people will really like it. Some people will not. You know what I mean? But I'm so far I'm really enjoying it, and I'm getting I'm getting better at it. I'm I'm having a better time with it. Again, if you are enjoying the playthrough, please. You know, leave some comments on the video, like the video, maybe support the video with the super thanks. Or if you're here live, please consider supporting, least. right? I'm ready for any adventure you have in what are you store doing? Arisen. I'm stuck. I don't want to talk to you. I totally didn't want to talk to you. It was a mistake. I wanted to, I wanted to loot, but they're looting for me. Yeah. Three cinnamon barks. How do I get into this, uh... Oh, what luck. Tis a chest. Yeah, there's a chest here. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Lantern oil and a sun here bloom. You are, master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. <laughs> Gee, nice bragging. A braggadocious pawn. I found it myself. I totally looted it from someone's house. Ooh. Rotten scrag of beast? Probably the rotten ones you don't want. You probably sell those. You don't want to eat a rotten scrag of beast. So, I think this is it. I think if we follow along now, would it be this here? Yeah, this looks like this will probably take us to the city, right? Oh, yeah. That's a big bridge. It's going to take us straight to the city, so that's what we should do. Tell is, Vermond was once a bistring kingdom. Fascinating. Indeed. Though it is not widely known among the common folk. Reminds me of uh, Skyrim, the, the major city in Skyrim, right? Say? Pretty, Pretty similar with the farms and things around the outer edges. Opening a locked door. There are some doors that can be interacted with, but cannot be opened by keys or mechanisms. This can really be a matter of timing. You may find such doors will open at a particular time of day or once you've progressed to a certain point in the story. So perhaps they're saying you can open this door later, right? Uh, there's definitely a glowing chest in it. Do you think you can open the door from the other side? Like an arrow? Oh wait. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, uh, I can't see diddly dick, can you? I can't. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Why are you here? Level 12 pawn. Okay, you can leave. I didn't tell you to fucking bother me, asshole. I was looking through this window. Dude. Uh, yeah, look, there's stuff in there. There's gold and there's a chest. But I can't get the door open. It looks like it is barred. And if I had an arrow, I could probably do it. But I can't control you need my me pawn, the right? Say no more. Here, uh, to me. I wish I could tell Vista to shoot, because you can see there's a bar on the door in there. And I bet if you were a a, a hunter class, you could shoot it. But now I'm not, and I have no ranged prize. stuff. If only twerk so far away. Yeah, I wish I could tell Vista to do it, right? Do forgive me, Master, but I've not learned anything useful of late. Nope. Can't you can't uh you can't command them to do stuff, so she doesn't do it, she just doesn't do it, and she's not doing it, so. Nope. Well, Vista, you're not gonna help us, huh? Looks like Windows Vista. Pretty worthless. Uh, I received a $21 tip, a very generous tip, from Swagadito. Been loving your Dragon's Dogma 2 coverage. Way more fun to watch because it's action based. It sucks. I'm it's gonna go on the back burner. The game is awesome. I'm enjoying myself. Keep in mind, the whole point me doing this crazy push this week is that we finish the lingering games and we can put a lot more time into this one because it would suck if I only played this like two, three times a week tops, right? Wait, imagine if I only played two major streams a week for like weeks because I, I, I'm fucking juggling too many games. So I'm glad you're liking it. Thank you so much, Swagonito. Very generous tip of yours. That gets us to $42 in tips tonight. And uh, again, hopefully we will finish those games sooner rather than later and then we can play this one more. I like, I am liking it a lot. And the action-based 
combat makes it a little bit more interesting, I feel, than all the turn-based stuff we've been doing recently, right? <clears throat> okay. Good evening, Blackjack Throwback. He says, this game is boring. Well, then you can leave. Just a leave and come back later when I'm doing something that you're not going to complain about. Okay. Wait, you so said there was another chest? No, that's the building. Okay, the chest is that building, and we can't get into it right now. Chest in here. Oh, that looks scrumptious. And I'm positively famished. A fruit roborant. You ought to exercise and a lantern more oil. Restraint. All these townspeople are just for us to use and steal from. Wow, it's pretty messed up when you really think about it, but... Oh well, that's how it always is in these games. You steal everything. All right, let's get to the city. Get the story moving, right? <clears throat> Pray, Hopefully, we find a lot of missions feet. in the city. I feel You're like we will. Fast for the likes of me. Look who it is! Let us endeavor to keep. We up. finally made it. Halt! We need a halt. We we're with you earlier. We're approaching the gates of Vernworth. Is this the same guy? It's not. None may pass without the proper documents. If you've an entry permit. An invitation, or it's the same. It's a different guy. He looks the same though. Now. There, now shut up. Oh, I see. So you are to meet with Captain Brandt. A chance impede you then. Come with me. All right. Go. Let's go meet the captain. You and the I captain make it happen. You're coming with the <laughs> Oh, wow, he's already accusing us of being a would-be arisen. Captain Brandt, you should know that this individual fought valiantly to defend the troops. The watchhead told me himself. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign oh. and the rightful ruler of Vermont. This is the guy from the intro. Remember, they, they brought someone in to be the, the leader? <clears throat> so apparently now you're going to meet this person. It follows, therefore... That this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. Great. Right. Well, hopefully something happens to get us free here. Myself. Stand watch outside. It's gonna beat us up. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. Whoa! If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence. I fear your life would have been in peril. Oh shit! Interesting. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. So he know he knows you're really a, an arisen. <clears throat> I don't understand. Then you have truly lost your memory. Yeah. In that case, may I, I ought to explain the situation before we proceed? So you're the real king? Holy shit! You, and no other, are the sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Oh, wow. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Interesting. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Vernworth Palace a few months prior. All right, let's get the backstory. <clears throat> Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deeser of everything. Like a film During grain the time on it. of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, <clears throat> word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deeser. Your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. Hmm. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct Your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse uh. and sell you to Batal as a slave. Wow, that's what happened. That's why you were in the freaking slave camp. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, 
I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Disa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. Okay. Interesting. How are we going to usurp the false rulers who are trying to control the country? It's interesting plot. Of all suspicion <laughs> and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Okay. Achievement. Seat of the proxy. Arrived in Vernworth. Pray forgive me. I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with this guy? Looks like a puppet. It's friggin' Pinocchio. Consign it! Get back here! Fuck? Huh? Huh? You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? <laughs> Can you tell me which way he went? I legitimately don't know where he went, but I just lie or tell the truth. I will lie. Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. We helped. We helped whoever it was. All right, that was You're exciting. A kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. Wait, there's a guard sitting right next to me. How did they not see him? In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are. Uh, you dummy! What did I just say? Apologies, but our chat will have to wait till next we meet. Farewell. So apparently he'll be an ally later. Off he goes. <laughs> Good to see you, master. Huh? Where is my team? Here they are. You guys are just waiting out here, chilling out here. I guess so. Coming in now. You guys, all right? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm in. Whoa! Look out! Big ass uh, ox here. Oh, does this say? Oh wait, ox cart. Oh, I guess maybe this is fast travel, or maybe the ox cart is fast travel around. Probably, right? Well, we've got a big town to check out, right? Let's take a look at our map. So, yep, here's the ox carts. What's this? The guardhouse, common quarter, Mildred's dwelling. I don't know who Mildred is. The tavern outside of the city walls. It looks like there's the slums. Uh, keep walking straight. We have all the commerce, smithy, an armory, sundries, star drop in. This is where they want us to go. There's the in, the regular inn where we could probably look. We probably have a lot of experience points. We killed at least another ogre. Excuse me, another cyclops and an ogre. So we probably have some points to put into leveling. Uh, so that's probably what we should do first, <clears throat> and see where the, where the game takes us. What's this? Rose Chateau. Bordelry, Bordelry, oh ha, so fancy, the Bordelry. Don't buy anything yet. You'll meet the dude in the bar, and you get a lot of money. Oh really? I'll go. I didn't want to go to the inn. Level up some skills. It is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? You people in your ladders. You, you people are just ladder place. fiends. Constantly talking about ladders in every direction. Oh, tis you. Oh look who it is. You're the good sir who aided me in now. Yep, it's the girl we already helped. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. Yeah, sometimes you'll just randomly run into people again. Hmm. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Treasure chest in the town that you could just grab? That'd be pretty silly. Just sitting around. Where does he see a treasure chest? Uh, where in the holy hell did he see a treasure chest? It's like he saw it in the building somehow. How did you see that? Huh. Where the hell did he find a treasure chest? Climb here? No. Climb here? See which way the winds blow. No. Oh. Uh. Well, I'm right next to it, but you still can't do anything here. There's no treasure chest, see? Break this window. Oh. Oh no, I got up here, but there's nothing here. I certainly don't see a treasure chest, so. 
I don't know how you're supposed to do this, unless maybe it's up way up there. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in mouth? Oh, yes, it was me. I thought <laughs> so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other, for all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain ah. offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it. So if you would skip the quest, you'd have to pay full price if you shop at this guy's place, but now he'll give me a discount. What does he have? Welcome and well met. Don't think I've forgotten your dis- an intricate curio sold by a merchant who deals in such trinkets. Something small can be stored within the internal compartment. It's an ornate box. Why on earth would I want this? Everything else is just a healing item. Why would I want an ornate box? It's listed as a valuable. Maybe it's a unique item. Now. Unlock a few Do come again. Maybe it's a unique item for later or something, right? Oh, you know what I could do? I could sell. Takes two to Welcome and well met. A jewel prize for its use as a protective charm. Scarcely seen in Batal. It says it's valuable. I guess you just sell it. I guess this is just for the selling. I guess so. These are all crafting items. Here we go. We could sell his miner's hosen. Okay. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. Do come again. I wonder if someone someone's probably gonna want that ornate box or something for a mission. Watch. I bet I bet they will. Uh let's hand some items over. What did I just hit? I hit the wrong button. Combine. Warming salve or explosive arrow. A cell that will raise the body's temperature, it cures frostbite or an ice bound debilitation. Mincemeat. That's new. Make lantern oil. For dried meat. Made a lantern oil out of the old meat that was rotten. A wicking remedy. Medicine that when taken has curious effect of removing excess oil on the skin. Cure a tarred debilitation. Restores a great deal of health and stamina when consumed. It's a high level... Yeah, a high level healing item if we do this. Hmm. I wanted to get one of the wicking remedies. Alright, so nothing too crazy, right? I don't need any of these arrows. There's all the different things we figured out the recipes for. Oh, okay. Uh, what I want to do is I want to give some items over. Fuck. <laughs> I fucked up. Ogre Spur, Misshapen Eye. Okay, that gets us back to average weight. Alright, uh... They were just standing there watching me like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Sticking around with his inventory. Where is the inn? Because that's where I was headed and I got distracted. In the back, it looks like. Yeah, back here. Oh. What does this say? A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. What this? This is uh, our stone. It's a giant spar stone. It's huge. This guy sells stuff. Let's uh, let's go to the inn first. I want to do le leveling. 
I just hope it doesn't force the uh, the story. Here's the end. Is this the end? What is that? Yeah, Shakir's in. Cool. Well met. You are come to Shakir's Inn. A few will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when tri commerce is the domain of clever minds. Wait, organized storage? You won't let me do the, the leveling. Why not? I've always been able to do it at an inn before. Now I can't do it here? Why, what happened? Well, that's stupid. Much obliged. Is there... There's a separate vocational guild now? Oh. It was combined in the towns. I didn't realize now that there there's a separate thing. Is it right here? Is this it? Yes. I expect this would fetch a fair sum at greeting. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining. Okay. To you have seeker tokens? You have no seeker tokens. Your rewards. There are 240 tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out of the way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall. You receive special rewards now. And then as to oh now and then as to your collection. Um you leave no stone unturned. We get all kinds of stuff. Look, a fairy stone. So this is for with uh fast travel. Ring of vehemence. We're likely to stagger and knock down foes with your attacks. Ring of triumph. Slightly boosts maximum health, stamina, and amount of carry weight. Super good. Yeah, these are just find them and you get all these different items. Nice. <clears throat> With simply say the word. Okay, I have. Oh my God, I have three thousand three hundred seventy-one discipline points. We got quite a lot of points from those enemies that we were fighting, <clears throat> and we have a ridiculous amount of things we can do. We could do new uh, new things. We could level things up. Like, look, instead of shield bash, it's now shield pummel. Strikes the target twice. What about burst strike? Advanced form bling strike that allows the user to travel further and more swiftly. Hmm. Now let me look. Four skills. Tusk toss. That's the launcher. Shield foundation. Press right bumper when falling from a height. Use the shield to ease the impact from falling. Reduces fall damage and hastens recovery after a fall. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Enchanted Encounter. When using Defend while enchanted, automatically encounters an elemental attack. So if one of these mages puts the fire element on me and I block, it'll hit them with fire, like reflect fire back on them. Oh, there's a new one. Provocation. Increase the likelihood of being targeted by foes. Oh, I don't want that. Not now, anyway. Maybe maybe later when I'm tougher. I don't want that shit now. Um, <clears throat> So we can't do these yet because we have to max. Once we maximize... Uh, oh, the uh, fight the fighter we can become warrior. Right now we're only level four, but I'd be interested in using this later. Okay. Um. So we have airward slash. What's compass slash? A deadly circle slash for our surrounding enemies. Gouging skewer throws blade into the target's body. Or oh, look at that. See. Oh God. Damn, that's brutal. If a strike connect, the user clings to the target and pins it down. Press the assign button to initiate. Tap it repeatedly. It can also be initiated by pressing the assign button while clinging to a target. Oh! You can do this on a big guy. Oh, this is good. You can get... We could go onto the head of a monster and just keep stabbing it in the face. I definitely want Gouging Skewer. Absolutely. I want Gouging Skewer. That's going to be huge. Now. Can't level 2 that thing yet. Shield Summons? Wraps the shield loudly to attract attention. So that's a taunt. Springboard. Look at this. Launch allies into the air using your shield. Press the assigned button to fling an ally in the direction. Wow. So I could stand near a big enemy and I could launch Eldrick onto or Eldritch onto the, the back. That's neat. That's really neat. Or maybe I could launch someone up to get an item on a ledge that we can't reach. Oh man, I think I want that too, but then what would I get rid of? I'll be honest, I don't think that Shield Bash has really been that useful. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, and then I'm going to get Tusk Toss. Just hold X and release, and you get this launcher. 
Shield foundation, jump right bumper. So that eases falling. Let's do that. Let's just get them all, maybe. Yeah, let's do all those. We got all the core skills unlocked. And I think I want springboard, too. I just don't know if I'm going to use it right away. I might, though. You really only use springboard in two situations. Tall enemies or ledges that you can't reach, right? So maybe you could springboard someone up to... Remember we saw that ledge with the ladder? Maybe you could throw your teammate up to the ladder and then go up there and kick the ladder down? Maybe that's how you do it. <clears throat> hmm. I guess I'll get rid of shield bash for now because I'm not really using it that much. Okay. Now I don't have enough to do upgraded burst strike, of course. All right, what about Elric? Elric has 3,481. Four skill, controlled fall. When knocked down, press A to instantly make contact with the ground. It's a, it's a quick recovery. Look at that. Bump and lift. Robs the target of an item when an attack connects. Activates when using carb, has low success rate. Or foot pad. Kick off a wall allowing the user to launch themselves a great distance. Look at that. Oh, neat. Gratification. Slightly restore health when you deliver the killing blow to a foe. Hmm. That could be good. All right. Let's get that one. <clears throat> He's working towards what? Nothing. We don't have his level two job yet. Hmm. Weapon skill. Let's do cutting wind. This will upgrade fighting wind into cutting wind. It looks like it's a multiple slash attack. Ignited blades turns into... Enkindled blades turns into ignited blades. Advanced form of enkindled blades has longer lasting effect. to be employed while cleaning or pinning down a foe. Shadow Cloak becomes invisible. Helm Splitter. This is the good one, a good one against uh, big enemies. Powder Charge. He's got so many. <clears throat> Percussive Step. Close to Blast to withdraw from a point of detonation. <clears throat> and Snare. Cast out cords to, to snare targets to tug them in. Oh, we want this. This is great. This is going to pull enemies down. It's going to pull harpies out of the air. We definitely want and Snare. Yep. Smoke screen. Throw a smoke bomb that blinds nearby targets who are creating chaos when counterattacking or withdrawing. Be employed while clinging or pinning down a foe. I say either powder charge. Let's get powder charge. And a biting wind, I don't think it's very good, so I want to buy something to replace biting wind. Maybe smoke screen. Now nah, let's get helm splitter. Okay, we'll go with those four. I guess we'll maybe save. You know what? Let's make United Blades even bigger. Or even better. There you go. And then we can get, um... Controlled Fall. Okay. We spent all those points. Cool. We're gonna have all these new abilities. So I gotta remember for me now, right? I now have, uh, this Springboard where I launch someone else and Gouging Skewer. Which I'm gonna use when I'm on a big enemy. So. Forgive me. But I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for Warriors or Sorcerers at this time. You see... As we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, ah. we are unable to outfit new members. So I guess I gotta go get some. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. So go kill the goblins. Unless you were to procure <clears throat> a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Uh, nothing. If we find one of those items, then. Methinks Roderick. <laughs> will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. Who's Roderick? He runs the local armory. Okay. And we purchase almost all of our stock from him. Okay. May fortune smile upon you, sir. By the we way, by see a chest behind you. Let me uh, loot that. It? And how can we get it? Thanks. Ring of exultation. Oh, hold on. Slightly boost maximum health. There you go. I like that I just stole right in front of the guy. He doesn't give a shit. He's like, yeah, I'll take it. That's what the chest is for. Uh, all right. We got to talk to the armorer now. Figure out about this. And the armorer, I believe, is over here. Good day, sir. Do ba do ba do. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? This is Bjorn. He said the armory, right? Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality lying in these shelves. 
and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if we Yeah, this isn't it. It's the other guy. Misers die early deaths. It's the weapons guy. Oh, you can enhance your equipment. If you've had the requ requisite materials at hand, you can enhance your equipment at any shop equipped with a forge. Consider enhancing your equipment to according to your level and fighting style. Styles of smithing. There are several styles of smithing used in enhancement, and each one provides a different result, such as a moderate all-around improvement or a significant increase to a magic or might. Choose a style that's most c c compatible with your preferred bit equipment and approach combat. So, here's what I'm wearing. I can improve my sword, and it would make the weight go down and the strength go up. Okay, now what would I need... All you need is money. You don't need any materials to do it, apparently, it says, right? Right? Okay. Okay, for level two, I need goblin horns. I have a ridiculous amount of goblin horns, so I'll do that. Level three, I need things I don't have. Okay. Uh, shield. Oh, let's do some of these, the defense buffs, right? Some defense buffs. Copper ore we don't have. I guess we just toss the money at all this. It's cheap. Harpy pinion to make the pants better. Let's do the, the cheap enhancements first. Okay, we don't have enough cinnamon bark. We used it all. Oh, garble, only one goblin horn. We'll do that. Cool. Harpy pinion. I guess we'll do it. Okay. So he's max. Now what about... Wait, what? Why is it only Dark Side, Phil, and Vista? What happened to the rest of the party? What the fuck? What happened there? Why is it only? Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Where the hell is the rest of my people? What are they doing? This ladder can take us. To... This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. They weren't with me, so because they weren't with me, I couldn't I couldn't enhance Elric's stuff. He was dicking around. You need if you want to survive. There we go. Okay, superior criteria. Don't have copper ore, deep wood jacket. Don't have enough sun blooms and fur greaves. Use small fangs to upgrade those again. Hmm. I also want to see what he has to buy. So if we. Eh, Iron Helm is only so slightly better than what I have. So I'm probably not even going to bother with it. I'll keep what I've got. Plate armor. Oh, you see? Now, I should have waited. Of course, these are super expensive, man. Look at that price. Five, five, fifty, six hundred. This was 10,000. I mean, I could wear it, but look. I mean, the, and it is a big improvement, but it's all my money. I don't want to be spending all my money. Nah. Too expensive. I'll probably find stuff out there anyway, so. You sell some of the rings, too. Ring of Accrual. Slightly increase the maximum amount of weight that the wearer can carry. It's probably something I'm going to need. Elric. Uh, let's see. Now nah, I see his boots are just about the same. A scaled jacket. That's a pretty huge improvement. That's an improvement of almost 50 defense. It also looks really good. But it's very expensive. Ranger vest? Not nearly as much of an improvement. Alright, let's hold off on dropping all our money. Let's hold off on dropping all our money. I'm being told we're going to make a lot of money very, very soon. Hope to see you again. Where's the guy who has the mission? Right here. Out of the way, stupid. I'm the protagonist. Oi, friend. There he is. Sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. Okay. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim. Truly. Diesel wants to know how buggy the game is. Have we have we encountered any major bugs? There's been some silly things that have happened, but I don't think we've encountered a single major bug. Fair warning. 
goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. So we gotta kill a lot of goblins. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If all were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold can compare to a fellow life, eh? So, actually does not have a better sword than what I have at all. I would not even want to buy a weapon from this guy. He does have a shield that's only slightly better. Yeah, there's basically nothing here that I would want. No, like everything we have is better. So there's no point in buying any weapons. It would just be the armor that we might want to buy. Okay. Should we just do the next, the, the story thing here? We're almost out of time for tonight. We got like maybe 15, 20 minutes left. Maybe go do the story mission. Get that done. Because you guys are saying I'm going to make a lot of money doing it, I guess. And, uh... <clears throat> and then, um... Maybe, maybe we got to go do this goblin mission. Where are we going? Here? Cavern? Nice frame rate. It's like really choppy now. Like, super choppy frame rate. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. Okay. Yeah, definitely the frame rate dips in the city a lot, which is weird. You would have thought the city, because it's an it's a enclosed area, would actually be less, but no. <laughs> weird. Okay. Here we are. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been set. Okay. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. Okay. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need oh, to... Oh, great. There's a bunch members. of shit. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. All right. Monster culling, the queen regent, and the magistrate. Let's, let's hear all of them. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? Yes, we're gonna go kill some monsters. I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that have seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. I wonder, do you think? We could do two birds with one stone and do that quest for the blacksmith or the vendor, the weapons vendor, as well as this guy. Maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. Next mm. is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians. Saurians! Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermont. There is no shortage of beasts that need culling in this world. Okay. We got those. We ought take the time to evaluate our fighting strength and equipment before setting out. Uh huh. You talking to this? Whoa. The passage of time. Time is an ever flowing river in this world, and the activities and behaviors of its inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to remain in the same place all day long and may only appear in the morning, at night, or at midday. Past the time, you can either stay at an inn or you can make use of one of the special seats found indoors in set location. Outdoors in set location. That was right next to the the uh, ox wagon. That's There was a bench right next to it. 
Come nightfall, you'll be able to see no further than the ground at your feet, and the onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters not seen at day. Explore the wilderness and sunset at your own peril, and be sure you have a lantern in your pack. Some items can be gathered that can be gathered change over time. Yeah, we saw that some of the meat went bad, <clears throat> such as by ripening and growing more flavorful. There are also items that, if allowed to age enough, will become more useful when combining materials. However, you should keep a close eye on raw items in particular, as consuming anything that has been aged past its prime is likely to have unpleasant side effects. <clears throat> Certain objects and structures can be destroyed by your attacks and will regenerate after a set amount of time. Similarly, fruits, berries, and other gatherable flora grow back. Okay. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. All right, tell me about the Queen Regent. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now, though I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? You're basically just he's gonna give you every single I task possible. That the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and Aha! Uh -huh. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. So he's gonna make sure the door's always open and we go there at night. Got it. There is much we ought to tend to. What about the magistrate? The of all those who serve the Queen Regent, <laughs> there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time as Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time as the Magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Yes, bring him from jail. Our laws dictate that your Majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your Majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? Sure. I prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray. Take this. This mission Jail key. the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, your majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. You think he sounds like Thor? The Thor actor? Uh, Chris Hemsworth? You think it's not like Chris Hemsworth? All right, so is that it? I think we 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 unlocked all the missions here, right? There is much we ought to tend to. Yeah. If we are to straight, be a the oh no! Fucked up. As for your the first is Trayvon, next is Hoffman, <laughs> I went to say we're done. Is it all else you would speak of? That'll be all. Do not forget that. We all right, so I guess we just have a ton of missions to do, and likely what we should do. Is he said there was one that's only at night, correct? Slip into the palace of the rear gate in the hours of midnight and dawn and search the Queen's Regent's office. Since it's already night, this is probably the one you should do. The question is, how do we do it? Like, where is it? Out there on the map somewhere. Oh, we, uh... How do we get over there? Definitely night now. Look at this. Wow, it's pretty cool. First time we've seen the game at night. This is going to be a confusing walk. What the fuck? How do we get over there? We haven't, we haven't even gotten over there yet. Yeah, look. It's the southern part of the city. We have to walk over there. Try to get down there. Wait, am I supposed to... Oh, God. I'm in the slums. I'm in the slums. I'm not exactly sure this is what I was supposed to do. Because now I'm in a dead end. Look, this is not good. I think we accidentally left the palace. I didn't mean to do that. Shit, I left the palace. It was so dark I couldn't tell what I was doing. Morgues and charnel houses. If a civilian dies, their body is brought to a mortuary within a few days of their passing. Whether the corpse ends up in ba Batal's morgue or vermin's charnel house depends on where it was found. The reason can revive the dead using a wake stone. So if someone inadvertently dies, 
and you want to revive them in a morgue, you can do that. Wow. This is the morgue. Guess what? what I just found. One wakestone shard is a mere rock. Nice. But combined, they can work miracles. Yeah, that's pretty good that we found a shard. We, we need one more to get a full wakestone. By mistake. Okay. So we probably shouldn't leave the city. Probably a bad idea. We gotta figure out how to get to where we want to go. Port crystals. Use of a fairy stone will instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures of cities and towns. You may also place your own port crystal at a destination of your choice. You may have up to 10 port crystals placed at various locations throughout the world at any time. Once placed, a port crystal can be recovered if you wish to move it somewhere else. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available at fairy stone destinations. So this is a... Port crystal that's now activated for us. Shall we see where it leads? Could you chill How with the ladders? They love the freaking ladders, man. Alright, so that's now a port crystal we can use at a later date. I'm trying to figure out how we get over to the palace to do this mission we're only supposed to do at night. Maybe through here? Looks like it. There are useful way. ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Yeah, here? I don't see any. Woman in the window. Ah, this here? This is a noon bloom. I don't know, I don't think we had one yet. Noon bloom. Noony bloom. Oh, noony bloom. Up here? I think this is the way. Got a sun bloom. Oh, I needed that for an upgrade. Is this the palace? I would Oh, restricted entry. We're not supposed to do this. Okay. Appreciate your swift return, Master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me. So, here we are. We're not allowed to do this this thing. So are they insinuating that we need to approach it from the outside? How would we do that? <clears throat> yeah, how would we do that? Isn't this not water? So how would we get to the rear entrance of the palace if it's this place is surrounded by water? When you are gone over long, is not our place to is there a way arisen? over or through this wall? Entered the Rose Chateau. I don't even know what I'm doing here and why the music just got so ominous. I don't know what, what this is. <laughs> uh, since the music immediately went like deadly, I don't think we should be here. That's a bad sign. I got, got a fucking achievement just for walking in a door. Here's the other entrance to it. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the back entrance of the palace. Did I just find it? I didn't want to do that! Oh god, well, maybe this is what we're supposed to do, I don't know. But it looks like this is a back way around. Oh, there's a chest out here. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting a chest here. I got a fairy stone. Oh, cool. Well, guess what? That is all that's out here. So we got a fairy stone, a rare item. But sadly, this is not the way into the palace. We can instantly spirit the user back to the location of a port crystal. So now we can fast travel. But only to port crystal. Yeah, so this is not it. Uh, No, it's a dead end, see? 
Well, shit, I have no clue. How are we going to get <clears throat> to the palace if they won't let us in, right? The mission is to sneak in the back way, right? Slip into the palace through the rear gate between the hours of midnight and dawn. Where the hell is the rear gate? Why is this music so ominous? I don't like this music at all. It's freaking me out. I gotta get out of here. We cannot accompany you there, Master. But fear not. You'll find us here when you return. So this is the front gate. We've got to find a rear gate somewhere. Uh, what the fuck? There's no rear gate. What are they talking about? For you. Baldwin's estate. It's the Baldwin's? All the Baldwin's live here? Holy shit, I'm gonna talk to the Baldwin's. Are they here? You're not a Baldwin. You're also not a Baldwin. At least not one. Oh, oh wait a minute. That's Nina. <laughs> I don't know how we're supposed to do this. I don't know how. What the hell is he doing? He's surfing down the, the railway. No, shit. Don't do that. Oh, God. I almost fell. Oh, why did that for? He's running like crazy. Yeah, dude, I don't know. They want me to go to the rear entrance of the palace. Where do you see a rear entrance of the palace? There is none. Unless you think if you follow this path all the way, this goes somewhere. Oh. I don't know. I'm pretty confused. I was hoping we could do a quick mission before our stream adjourned tonight. Obviously not. This mission, the game doesn't give you any guidance on how to fucking do it. And I don't have a clue what they're expecting me to do to do it. It's one of those games. It is. It's going to be one of those games. They don't want to explain shit. They don't even want to give you a good waypoint. They just expect you to fuck around till you figure out how to do stuff. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Here's the other mortuary. Is there a, a chest in here? I just admit he's a complete coward. Did you hear him? You think there's a, another stone down here? Oh, shit. Yes, we did it. That's three wake stone shards. We should have a wake stone now. What? I think I gave a shard to somebody else. Maybe it doesn't count. Well, it doesn't matter because I found another one anyway. So now I have a whole wake stone. Good. Well, it was worth it to come down here to get a revive item. That's for sure. Nice choppy frame rate. Oh, so I, I, I'm not going to be playing this for a bit, guys. Because I'm going to be focusing on the other RPGs that I'm playing. But I sure would like to know how I'm supposed to do a mission. Chest is looted already. I sure would like to know how I'm supposed to do this mission when there's no back entrance at all. This is where we already were. Yep. This goes to a dead end. We've already gone this way. 
And this path doesn't continue. It looks like it should. But it's definitely a dead end. See? It shows a path here. But there's no path. This is a dead end. See? If this really were a path, I could follow itself and maybe this would have a way to go around and go to the back, like the back of the palace. But it's not real. It's not a real path. So I have absolutely no clue how to do this mission and the game doesn't give you any guidance whatsoever. That's pretty fucking stupid. You know what it is? You need a guide. You need a fucking guide to figure this shit out. Without a guide, you'll never figure anything out. Alms for the poor, my ass. Steal all those herbs. Herbs for the crafting. More important than alms for the poor. What is this? Doesn't say. Look. What is that? Looks like you go down, but I don't know how. See that? It does look like eventually this will be like cleared out. And you'll be able to like go down. See that? There is a way down, but it can't do it now. It's blocked. I'm clueless. I have no clue how they're expecting you to do this. So I guess we're going to call it a night. We're probably just going to save up. And then next time around, start fresh and try to figure this out. Because I don't know what we're supposed to be doing right now. To get to that mission. It seems pretty fruitless. This is a place where they, they heal people. Alright, well, let's save. And when we resume, which likely... I'll, I'm going to be honest with everyone. If you under, enjoyed the playthrough today, I played it over five hours. Basically about five and a half hours today. I like the game a lot. I do feel like a lot of the stuff is kind of cryptic and it will require being looked up or getting advice from the chat. But outside of that, um, I think the game is fine. I don't think the frame rate's a big deal. And I'm really enjoying it. So, the bummer is, I can't tell you guys next time I'm playing this... Because I have to finish these insanely long lingering games I've been playing for months. And I'm focusing on that this week. And I'm totally hoping that I can finish those games by the end of this week. Because I would love to come back and play this, you know, a lot more. But the good news is, for those of you who are playing this yourselves, you're going to be ahead of me. You know what I mean? Like, I played five and a half hours today. But lots of people, I'm sure, are going to be playing this all week long. And so hopefully when I play it next, which may be like next week you guys will be able to come and ch check it out and not be spoiled, right? You know, I always hate when there's a new game and people are playing it like, I don't want to be spoiled. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, my initial impressions, I like the game a lot. The combat is very fun, action-based. Uh, I like the pawn system. It's kind of neat and, and interesting. Um, so yeah, I've been having a good, I had a good time with it today. I'm happy I played it all day long. I, I seriously didn't get bored. Like I would play more if I had more time tonight, but obviously we've reached the end of the stream. I want to say thank you to everyone here today who watched all day. If you've been watching On Demand all day, remember, liking those initial videos, leaving comments on them helps a lot. Maybe consider a super thanks to help out the playthrough. And uh, it will return. This will be a major focus of mine after I finish up the lingering stuff. Okay? So, for day one of uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, liking it a lot. Looking forward to more. I hope that you guys will join me for those in the future. But in the meantime, be safe. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.